I'm here today in Milton, Mass. at Abbey Park, which not only received an award for being one of the best places to eat in the Boston area by Boston Magazine, but also was the first restaurant and bar in Milton to receive a liquor license. First liquor license in Milton, so I like to say it's Milton's original neighborhood bar. And you know what that means. Lots and lots of fun for the people of Milton and the surrounding areas, and oh, so many tasty and creative dishes. Hi, Manny. Hi, Lita. What are you making for us? We're gonna make a seafood plat diablo. Ooh, sounds delicious. We started with a little bit of oil, put the scallops nice and brown. Add the shrimp. More seafood coming. You're adding shrimp? Shrimp, um, scallops, lobster. Lobster. Yep. Okay. It's gonna be salt, pepper. Garlic? Little bit garlic. Little bit pepper flakes. So just a little bit of spice, but not too much. Little bit, not All too right. much. Yep. Wine. Woo! Marinara, tomato sauce. Little bit stock. But wait, there's more seafood coming up. Lobster. Does lobster cook faster? Is that why you put it on towards the end? The end, yep. Oh. It's already the lobster is already cooked. So ah, all right. it'll be parsley, garlic butter. What kind of pasta is that? That's linguine. Linguine. Not only is it gonna taste good, but you see Manny is making sure it looks good as well. You're an artist, Manny. Parmesan cheese. Of course. Parsley. Beautiful. Seafood Fra Diablo by Manny. So what's your perspective? My perspective um, about Abbey Park is the staff is amazing. The food here is amazing as well. Here. My favorite dish is the salads here. Very diverse. Nice salads, putting salmon, chicken, I think that's Thank you so much for joining us today, Amelia. Yes, thank you for coming. Tell me about the history of Abbey Park. So the restaurant's been here nearly 15 years. Um, actually, fun fact, first liquor license in Milton. So I like to say it's Milton's original neighborhood bar. And are there dishes that have been around since the restaurant started? I know our skinny salmon's been a favorite for a long time. I like that name, skinny salmon. People love our chicken piccata. That's a classic. Uh, as well as some of our steaks. Okay, and some of the upgrades that you've done here recently pertaining to sports, tell us about that. We got a nice big TV, which you can probably barely glimpse behind me, um, but we do put sound on for the games on Sundays, just try to make it like a fun, high energy neighborhood bar where you can actually get good quality food. Now, of course, as a restaurant that is partly owned by a musician, you feature live music. Indeed, and that musician would be Jordan Knight from the New Kids on the Block. New Kids on the Block, oh. Every single Friday, we have a roster of local artists that rotate, super well received. It kind of helps bring that fun bar vibe, high energy after the dinner hours winding down. And you have these charity drinks. What are the charity drinks? Yeah, we do partner with a different charity every month. We come up with a spirit that we want to feature and we put our creative hats on and come up with a new cocktail so that we can donate two dollars per drink back to the organization. So at the end of the month we tally up those sales and we send the check out. Now on to the food that we have before us. Obviously the filet kind of speaks for itself. Um, it's a peppercorn crusted filet with a brandy cream sauce. It's really delicious. Steak pizza, you can order the steak however you like it. We have it medium rare here. We've got our arugula and berry salad. Our salads are really great. We make some of our dressings in house and then we also partner with a local business. Shrimp and calamari with marinara, a little aioli, and a little bit of Kalamata olive tapenade that kind of just adds a little extra flavor profile there. And then we've got our goji vegan. So we do have vegan and vegetarian entrees on the menu. This is one we feature. It's got shiitake mushrooms, veggies, rice, with a little avocado on top. But we do try to make sure that we have options on the menu with people of all dietary restrictions. But let's just say, I come in to watch a Patriots game and I want to eat a classic wings. So we have a few different flavors. We've got our barbecue sweet chili or 
classic buffalo. All right, if you're picky and you like them, then maybe I'll have to come in and order all three flavors. That would be a great idea. Thank you again for your time, Amelia. Yeah, thank you so much. With creative dishes ready to satisfy the seafood lover and the vegan alike, Abbey Park is the place to be in Milton, Mass. Well, that's my perspective. Hey, New England, what's your perspective? Abbey Park in Milton, Mass.